Here are 44 things most of you didn't know about the Hashira. Shinobu is a very beautiful woman. But did you know that Shinobu's Demon Slayer uniform's jacket is originally designed to leave the center of the chest area open, similar to Mitsuri's? However, Shinobu disliked this aspect of its design, so she burned the original uniform right in front of the Kakushi who had just given it to her and requested a fully buttoned version of the uniform instead. Speaking of Shinobu and Mitsuri, they actually get along quite well, probably due to them being the only two female Hashira after Kanae Kocho's death. Mitsuri also teaches her Western cooking. Chill, Mitsuri, not everyone has your metabolism. We all know that Shinobu is very good with medicine, but most of you probably didn't know the reason. You see, Shinobu's parents worked in compounding medicine, and this is why Shinobu is also very talented with them. When Shinobu fought Doma, the manga states that she had 70 times the lethal amount of wisteria in her body, but it was later corrected by Koyoharu to be 700 times in the volume edition. Well, when you fight an upper rank, you can't take any chances, huh? With as much as she seemed calm and relaxed, it was revealed that this is not her real personality. After her sister died, she tried to imitate her calm and merciful demeanor, but sometimes she just couldn't do it. A good example is during the cooperative research time between Shinobu and Yushiro. Shinobu held some distrust towards Tamayo due to her being a demon, and Yushiro wished to kill Shinobu as a result. Although Shinobu wouldn't admit it, she was a natural airhead. The names she came up for Kanao Tsuyori were so bizarre that upon seeing them, Kanae broke down into such an eh? expression that even Aoi Kanzaki wasn't able to smooth things out. Next Hashira in line is Rengoku. Did you know that Rengoku is actually based on a real person Koyoharu knew? Imagine meeting someone like Rengoku in real life. I'm sure it can be nice sometimes, but most of the time it'll be hard to keep up with them. Speaking of keeping up with them, there is evidence that Kyojiro was actually a genius. First, the other Hashira actually had a hard time keeping up with his speed. He would talk and reach conclusions very quickly, something that made the other Hashira confused from time to time. You see, real-life geniuses tend to have these characteristics as well because their brain can process information much faster than the average man. Sounds kind of like me, to be honest. <clears throat> anyway, second, he became a Hashira by training himself with partial knowledge only after being abandoned by his father. Are you convinced yet? Well, we all know that Rengoku's work and training ethics are on another level, but most of you probably didn't know that he never had a Tsukuko. The reason is that his training was so hard, they ended up running away. Why are you running? Even Mitsuri couldn't keep up with his training, to the point she made her own style of breathing, and she's a Hashira with insane muscle structure. What could that training have been like? Oof. Next, we have Gyu Tomioka. We all know that Gyu and Nezuko have a special connection. He's the first Demon Slayer who believed in her to the point of putting his life on the line to protect her. But did you know that Gyu's Haori was almost torn to shreds after the decisive battle against Muzan? But what does that have to do with Nezuko? Well, Nezuko managed to restore most of it with her craftsmanship and sewing. Gyu was so moved by this that he sent her so many different gifts, like kimonos, western clothes, hair ornaments, etc., that even Zenitsu considered him a potential love rival. Also, Gyu befriends Tengen and his family after the battle. When Tengen's child was born, he was allowed to hold the baby. Another fun fact about Gyu is that his crow is so old, so it tends to make mistakes when giving messages and moves slowly during battles. The next Hashira is Uzui Tengen. During his fight with Gyu Taro, he lost his eye and hand. But did you know that Tengen is one of the only known Demon Slayer and Hashira to retire due to being permanently disabled, instead of death or old age? Want to know who's the second one? Keep watching the video to find out. We all know that Tengen ran away from his shinobi clan because he hated the cycle of death that ran through his family. But did you know that he actually killed two of his brothers without knowing? You see, Tengen's father made his sons fight to the death while being covered with masks, so they didn't really know who they were fighting. After it was revealed that the people he killed were two of his brothers, he left the clan forever. Talk about parental abuse. For some time, it became Tengen's habit to say that he was going to hell. This stopped after seeing his wives' reactions, with Makio getting angry with him, Hinatsuru crying for him, and Suma biting him. Also, he would occasionally think of exterminating his entire clan, but he couldn't bring himself to kill his father and brother. <laughs> anyway, our next Hashira is Mitsuri Kanroji. Did you know that a few of Mitsuri's attacks are named after cats? It's due to the fact that she used to own a cat as a child. She and Giyome also enjoy talking about cats together. I bet it's a funny experience to watch a 7'2 giant talking about kitties. 
We all know that Mitsuri has a pretty revealing wow. outfit. But did you know that her striped socks were a gift from Obunai? He gave them to her because she was initially very embarrassed to wear her uniform. Speaking on Obunai and Mitsuri, they both make an appearance in Chapter 137 of Tonikaku Kawaii. Mitsuri has an insane appetite, but can you guess how many sticks of dango she can eat in one sitting? Pause the video right now and comment down below. Well, the correct number is 100. Did you guess that right? Mitsuri is the love Hashira, but did you know that she really doesn't know much about love? Even worse, she would sometime ask Shinobu for love advice, but due to both of them being oblivious about love, their exchanges mostly became weird. Mitsuri likens Shinobu's love advice to a research thesis, since it mostly focuses on brain responses, heart rate, blood pressure, etc. And maybe that's the right way for me to think about love since what I've been doing definitely hasn't been working. Our next Hashira is the not-so-gentle giant, Giyome Himajima. Giyome is often depicted with tears streaming down his face, but do you know the reason why? Well, it's later revealed in an extra chapter that he cries extremely easily at almost anything, even crying for something as minor as when the garbage is messy. I wonder if he'd cry over spilled milk as well. But hey, sensitive guys are great people too. Did you know that Giyome was blinded due to a fever? But in spite of this blindness, he had a keen sense of sight and was able to avoid malicious actions that some people do around him, like trying to make him trip, throwing stuff at him, etc. This made people around him call him a liar, stating that no blind person would be able to do what he does. At one time, Inosuke challenged Giyome to a match. Giyome then pounded him headfirst into the ground. But let's be honest, it probably just made Inosuke even more determined to challenge him again in the future. Giyome is the only Hashira besides Muichiro and Shinobu to have a personal connection to an upper rank, that being upper rank 6, Kaigaku. Kaigaku is one of the orphaned children under Giyome's care at the temple, and would later be directly responsible for the demon attack that resulted in the death of all the children except Seo. Next, we have Muichiro Takedo. Muichiro always wears clothes that seem like they're three sizes larger than he should wear, but there's a reason behind it. He wears them in order to disorient enemies, as they won't be able to see his limbs and joints moving as well. This is supposed to hinder their ability to predict Muichiro's movements. Did you know that Muichiro can't have pets because his crow would get jealous? Also, even before he entered the Demon Slayer Corps, Muichiro could sleep soundly no matter if there was a tempest or thunderstorm, and he never lost his appetite. We all know that Muichiro is strong, but he's also the only known Hashira in the series to both overpower and kill an upper rank 12 Kizuki single-handedly. Our next Hashira is Sanemi Shinazugawa. Like Kiyoshi, Sanemi is a Marechi, which means his blood is extra tasty to demons. But his blood is considered rarer than the average Marechi. Because of this, the smell of it can intoxicate demons and disrupt their senses and movement speed. This is how he managed to kill so many demons even before he came a demon slayer without a Nichiren sword. I wonder if his blood just tastes like some sugary drink to them. <laughs> a lot of people see Sanemi as this crazy person, which he kind of is, but the reason is that he'd do literally anything to protect the people he cares about, even if it means dying, being hated, or being ostracized as the bad guy. Also, did you know that every time Sanemi met with Shinobu, he would ask her how she's doing? He's kinda nice for a crazy person. Sanemi shares the same listed height and weight as Muzan Kibutsuji. I'm sure that if he knew, he'd lose or gain weight immediately. And out of all the Hashira, who do you think Sanemi's getting along with the most? Write down your guess now in the comments. Well, if you said Obunai, you were right. And while we're at it, let's talk about Obunai. Obunai's sword is pretty special, but did you know that it was actually made by the son of the swordsmith village chief? His name is Gantetsu Tachikawahara. Due to his upbringing, Obunai developed fear and hatred towards women. This only worsened after he saw the weak resolve of the female demon slayers. Mitsuri was implied to be the first and only woman he found to be beautiful. Although Obunai doesn't like to eat much, seeing it as too much trouble, seeing Mitsuri happily eat her food made him work up his appetite and eat more than usual. Speaking of his appetite, he actually has the smallest appetite out of all the Hashira. He can go about three days without eating, whereas I can go about mm, three minutes. We all know that Obunai loves Mitsuri, but did you know that Obunai's meeting with Mitsuri was love at first sight? He was so dumbfounded that Kaburamaro also started to panic, which for some reason led him to biting Obunai. Ouch. Despite being described as the second weakest member in the Hashira in terms of strength, after Shinobu, 
Obanai is the only Hashira who was able to contend with Muzan before awakening his Demon Slayer mark. Now a few honorable mentions. Jigoro's title as a Hashira was revealed to be unique, as he was not called the Thunder Hashira but instead bore the name of the Roaring Hashira. Jigoro lost his right leg from the knee down in the middle of a battle when he was 35 years old, which is also the reason why he retired from being a Hashira. It's said by Giyu in his letter to Sakonji that Urokodaki has an enhanced sense of smell like Tanjiro. And lastly, Sakonji receives money from Kagaya Ubayashiki, but he never spends it and prefers to live a self-sufficient lifestyle. He did, however, use it to pay for the nutritious food he gave to Tanjiro while he was staying with him and for the traps he had his hunter friends set up. But if I were him, I would get a PS5. Those things are still expensive. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider watching our other videos. Also, if you learned anything new, leave a comment down below. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.